welcome back to the IBSP. Here's your host, Foxy New. You're now listening to The Truth with the IBFP, a.k.a. The Fan Boy Killer. Caleb Plant is happy he didn't get the Canelo Alvarez fight. Make it make sense. And look, let's just break it down honestly and objectively as possible. And you see recently, Caleb Plant came out mocking Canelo Alvarez for failing to fight on the annual September date for the third straight year. His exact quote is this, for the third year in a row, for a date that's reserved for him, at what point is it not everyone else's fault, and at what point does it fall on the hands of him and his team? You mean every opponent they've tried to book for the last three years is just ducking? Caleb Plant, you know, he's interesting. This guy is out here mocking Canelo Alvarez like he didn't just lose $10 million. Like he, like he, he's still going to make that regardless of who he fights. Is this guy a moron? Why would you mock the biggest payday of your career, idiot? The second thing he's he's talking about is he's talking about like, oh, Canelo Alvarez hasn't fought in three years. What the hell are you talking about? He's the most active fighter in boxing. The most active fighter in boxing. Just because he doesn't fight on one particular date doesn't mean anything that's not important you moron even canelo alvarez has come out and stated that it does not matter it is not important what day he fights because whatever date he fights are for mexicans so it really doesn't matter if it's the holiday or not canelo alvarez is an event unlike caleb plant he can fight on taco tuesday and no one even would give a damn so let's be honest and unbiased you're not a draw no one cares about you your mom doesn't love you canelo alvarez is the a-side and he's the only reason anybody even knows your name let's be honest and let's not forget what happened last year canelo alvarez billy joe saunders they were talking about making the fight in september and billy joe saunders pulled out did you forget that did you forget that You moron. And then after that, Canelo Alvarez had to file a lawsuit against Golden Boy and the Zone over breach of contract. And then when he got out of the contract, he fought Callum Smith in December. And when he fought him, he still sold out. He still sold out. He still had a sellout. So what is the problem? And all of this in the middle of a pandemic. So what is the problem with Canelo Alvarez? having to fight on any particular day. What the hell are you talking about? You said he he was going to duck Billy Joe Saunders. He fought him and beat him. You said he was going to duck Callum Smith. He fought him and beat him. It is not important which day he fights and beats you, Caleb Sweet Cheeks Plant, but he will beat those cheeks at some point. See, at the end of the day, Canelo Alvarez is destined for greatness because he's on a path for greatness. He's going to fight you. He's going to get you. I mean, this is the same Caleb Plant that walks away from $10 million and he's talking like he's he's smart, like he's a genius. You're mocking Canelo Alvarez like he's the idiot. I mean, think about it like this. Luis Ortiz, PBC fighter, turned down 7 million career high payday to face Anthony Joshua. Never got anywhere near close after that. Deontay Wilder turned down a guaranteed $100 million package to fight Anthony Joshua. Ends up taking $25 million per fight for Tyson Fury. In two fights, he makes half of this. What the hell are we talking about? These guys are morons. Caleb Plant is upset with Canelo because Canelo gave him the $10 million he's asking for and said he's being ridiculous about a worst-case scenario replacement pick? You're arguing over a replacement pick? This guy never wanted to fight, and the fact that you're coming out mocking Canelo shows you're an idiot. $10 million is money that you don't even deserve, yet Canelo Alvarez is still offering you to pretty much buy your belt, you moron. He's trying to get this belt to go undisputed. He wants to make history. This guy, Caleb Plant, is holding his belt hostage. He spread lies like he spread his cheeks. I mean, think about it like this. Canelo Alvarez trainer and manager Eddie Reynoso has already confirmed Firm, they've reignited talks with Caleb Plant's team for an undisputed fight in November. Is he not any less undisputed or any more undisputed if he goes undisputed in November instead of September? Does it really matter when he beats your brains in? Does it matter when he puts you to sleep? 
It does not matter as long as he goes undisputed. Because men lie, women lie, but the facts don't lie.